Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. Today we're going to make a simple three ingredient cocktail. Let's get into it. All right, it's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are making a simple three ingredient cocktail and this one contains limoncello. Now, a while ago I was asked to make something with limoncello and I forgot. So the limoncello spritz, which is simple, easy, refreshing, we're gonna do that because you know what? I want easy, I hope you want easy today too. And you know what? Let's get into it. First thing you're going to do is grab your glass of choice. In my case, I'm using a slightly smaller stemless wine glass just so I don't knock anything over and I like the way they look. Choose what's best for you. The first thing you wanna do is grab some ice. Fill it up the best way you want. You know, mostly so you're not jamming a piece of ice in your face. And then just admire the ice for the sake of it being ice. Actually, you can, you don't have to. That's just me, I have some issues. The next thing you wanna do is grab a sharp knife and a lemon of choice. And what you wanna do is you wanna cut it in half and what we're going to do is we're going to cut ourselves three small slices. And the reason we're doing that is we're just thinking about our garnish in advance. In fact, let's just slide these in here right now. So they look nice and neat. And remember, this is your cocktail. You're making this at home and you know, do it in a way that you really enjoy. And that's all that matters. The first thing you need is limoncello. Now limoncello is an Italian aperitif and aperitifs are generally had before or after a meal. And these are made with lemon peels. However, we need two ounces or 60 milliliters. Ooh, look at that color. Mm. And you can just smell the lemony goodness coming out of this. The next thing you need is your club soda. In my case, I'm using club soda. You could use Schweppes. You could use your own soda stream or something like that. And we need about one ounce. And the reason I'm preferring to open up a can that doesn't want to open, pardon me. When in doubt, do it the barbarian way. Where was I? Oh yeah, we need one ounce or 30 milliliters. And the reason I did it that way is I just don't want the bubbles going and losing their consistency. Wow, you should see the top of that can. Anyways, the next thing we need is our sparkling wine. And in this case, I'm using Frisione. It's a nice Spanish cava. It's drier, more in the form of a brut champagne. And we need three ounces or 90 milliliters. Look at that, oh yeah. That is a thing of beauty. Ooh. Next, you wanna grab some mint and chop the edge, give it a bit of a spank, slide it in here, and this will just give us some of those botanical notes that we're really looking for. And you know what? If you want, you could choose to stir this if you want, or you could leave it layered so that you get your flavors changing all the way through the glass. Let's just give this a bit of a stir, just so it incorporates everything. So the first things I get are the smell of the mint and I can smell the Brut Champagne or the Cava in this case, right? Oh yeah. Mm, it's good, it's refreshing, it's tart. The lemon comes in just underneath the Cava or your sparkling wine. Uh, you could choose to sweeten this up if you wanted with maybe five mils of a simple syrup. And again, that's because it's your cocktail and your taste may be different than mine or the original recipe or whoever invented this. I have no idea who invented it, but you know what? It is a riff of an Aperol Spritz. Oh yeah. Mm. It's good, I love the color. Oh. And you'll get your vitamin C out of that. Oh. Mm. Easy and special for a back deck, around the pool, or just sitting with some friends. 
If you think I should use a different type of limoncello or a different type of sparkling wine, or heck, even a different type of uh, sparkling water, please leave a comment down below. What I will do though, is I will leave the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if this is your first time to my channel, do everything I just said to do, but only once. <laughs> ah, you guys have a great night. It's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are making a simple three ingredient cocktail that is light and refreshing. Simple three ingredient cocktail that is light and refreshing. And slam some ice in the glass. And, and if you put your fingers on your glass, on your, 